This is a Made in Chelsea Where Are They Now 2023 update. Made in Chelsea is a British reality show that follows the lives of rich and ridiculously good-looking people. A lot of them kind of dated each other or hooked up at one point as well. Think of it like a cross between Vanderpump Rules and the royal family, kind of, I mean. Let's start with Miles. Miles and his friend have a podcast called Playtime Podcast, and recently Miles opened up about a, an experience he had in his love life recently. Notoriously, Miles is portrayed as a player on the show, so let's get that out of the way. But I guess he fell in love with someone online. He said that two months ago, he met a girl over TikTok who he started talking to all the time, and he just felt like this could really be something for him. They were in constant communication, and he felt so strongly about this girl that he, he actually flew to Canada to see her. She lives in an affluent area of Toronto, where apparently, Things did not work out. It seems because of some type of circumstance in her life or she just wasn't ready, he didn't really divulge the real reason, kind of. Miles ended up taking a dip in a cold lake in Canada and left early. Heartbroken, and now he says he still misses her. He straight up says that he feels like he fell in love with this girl. So first of all, I find it hard to believe that any girl would reject Miles, <laughs> and honestly, this is very much her loss. Hopefully, this shows Miles a new direction away from how it appears on the show that he kind of goes from girl to girl to girl. I mean, a new perspective, shall we say? I think it's time, because honestly, Miles is way better than that. So Miles got a bit of r, &R after his uh, painful breakup. He did this oxygen thing and acupuncture. He also went in a sauna and he's a fan of the ice baths and is just taking care of himself now, which is totally breakup vibes. He's also all about showing himself getting ready lately, his outfits and all that. Now let's go to Mava and James, naturally, who are living in bliss as a family with their new baby, Bo. I watched the birth special and I was straight up shocked at how much of an amazing partner James seems to be just overall. Mava and James recently went on a ski vacation sans baby and the internet trolls came out and could not let it go. And so I think Mava got a little bit of heat from fans about leaving her baby at home and she responded. But honestly, it's her decision as a mom, her baby, her choice. Let's not forget also that Mava and James will be getting married soon and she went wedding dress shopping with her mom and says that she picked the dress and said yes to the dress and all that. I'm surprised at how much I love this couple, James and Mava, together, honestly. Now let's go to Tristan, who is, I think, one of my favorite from the cast now. I'm rooting for him on the Challenge World Championships, and I think it's super cool that he goes on the challenge. He's currently partnered with Kellyanne, which I feel is like his polar opposite completely. And unfortunately, the first few episodes didn't go very well for him, to be honest. But there's still time, and I feel like he kind of looks really nervous and in his head too much, like on the show. That type of show is so different from Made in Chelsea. It's just a different type of thing. So just based on what I see on Instagram, he seems to be especially close with Jordan from the challenge, which is, which is cool. He and Olivia are still going strong and living together at this point. They traveled in Africa a little while ago and went on a safari. Fun fact about Tristan, he was born in South Africa and worked in Africa for a bit after university. He caught malaria a bunch of times and decided to come back to the UK. And now for some really good news, Ollie and his husband Gareth announced that they are expecting twins via surrogate, which is super exciting. They announced, we are beyond delighted to finally be able to share the news that we are expecting twin baby lock locks into the world this summer. We have all been so 
you have all been so wonderful throughout the last three years of us trying to have a family, and we promise to share every step of this adventure with you all. For all those on their own journey to become parents, we are with you and sending all the baby dust your way. Thank you to our sensational surrogate for being the most incredible human. The love we have for you and your family is just another level. So congratulations, that's really, really sweet. As for Julius, it appears that he has quit the show, guys, partly because of online bullying and some threats he received, which is crazy, but people online are crazy, so it is what it is. He said on a podcast, and this is from a The Tab article, I'll link below, I looked at my life after I'd just turned 30, and I'd been to all these amazing countries for filming and thought, now's a good time for me to go. I need to focus all my energies on things that actually I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I'm also in a relationship as well now, and I'm really happy. Does my life exist on the show anymore? I don't think it does. I think I totally understand. I mean, he didn't get the best edit or just didn't come off really well on the show, honestly. I don't know if it was, you know, I don't know what it was. Anyways, makes sense that reality TV just doesn't make sense for like everyone after a while, especially given how much money this cast already have. Like, do they even need the show? Probably not. So I get it, honestly. And finally, let's talk about Ruby. Ruby as well seems to have a new man, which I'm so happy about because she's just gone through so much on the show and totally deserves this. And same for Miles. I think I did see like rumblings that maybe, you know, the show, you know, it's evolving and there's like younger people. It's almost hard to keep track. And so um, I chose some of my favorites to do this update for. Maybe I'll do a part two or something. But word on the street, a new season is coming soon. And I wonder who's still going to be on the show, who's not going to be featured as much, where the drama will be. I hope we see a lot more of Mava and James, because when I saw their baby special, it actually gave me new insight into who they are. Like, basically, Mava wasn't, like, getting mad at everybody all the time. She was actually, like, more relaxed. And it was actually really fun to watch. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments if you watch the show and uh, what you think about this update. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.